Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, amma ba'd. Alhamdulillah, we are beginning to read from the book Fath'u Dhil Jalali Wal Ikram Bi Sharh Balugh Al Maram, which is an explanation by Shaykh Muhammad bin Salih and Uthameen Rahimahullah Ta'ala of the book Balugh Al Maram. And before us, we have Kitab Al Hajj, the book of Hajj. Tayyib. And before we begin, I'd like to mention that it's expected from the students, the viewers, to actually memorize certain things. In these series of videos, it's expected from the viewers to actually memorize some of these, some of, of the information that we're going to share with you all. And at the end of the video, we're going to we're going to ask you guys questions, and you would have to respond to the question. In the comment section below. Don't worry if a student already answered. We want you as a viewer to respond to the questions in the comment section below. Um, perhaps this will help us in retaining the information that we have learned. For how many times we have watched videos and benefited from them. You know, and perhaps the benefit stayed with us for a day or two. But after a week, a couple weeks couple months, years, how many of us can actually recall that same benefit? Um, it's very, very, very uh, minute. Therefore, we'd like to change that. We'd like to make this video uh, something that will help you for the rest of your life. There's information that you'll take with you until you reach the grave. And perhaps, inshallah ta'ala, you can actually share it with others so that the barak, the, the barakah, the blessing, and the ajr, the reward, is multiplied. Khairan. So let's begin with the definition of Hajj. What is the definition of Hajj in the language, the linguistical meaning, and also in the Sharia, ah, the legislative meaning, the Shari meaning. Khair. First, let's begin with the linguistical meaning of Hajj. The Shaykh Rahimahullah Ta'ala he said, Al Hajju fil Lugati Al Qasdu. That Hajj, linguistically, it means Al Qasd. Meaning intending or intention. You call Hajjakada. It is said Hajjakada, meaning he intended such and such, with the meaning of Qasd. So this is the meaning linguistically. Naam. And before we continue, I'd like to mention that if you know Arabic, if you know how to read Arabic, put letters together, words together, uh, if you're studying Arabic, then it's highly recommended that you memorize this information in Arabic. طيب. But if you don't know Arabic, then at least memorize the English meaning. طيب. So if you don't know Arabic, then you will know linguistically the word Hajj means intention or to intend or intending. طيب. But if you know Arabic, you will memorize Al Qasd. The meaning of Hajj in the language is Al Qasd. طيب. وأما في الشرع فهو التعبد لله عز وجل بأداء المناسك على صفة مخصوصة في وقت مخصوص. As for the meaning of Hajj in the legislation, then it is worshiping or it is worship to Allah or for Allah by carrying out rituals in a specific manner at a specific time. It is تعبد لله عز وجل بأداء المناسك. على صفة مخصوصة في وقت مخصوص. It is worshiping for all or worship for Allah by carrying out rituals in a in a specific manner at a specific time. This is the meaning of Hajj in the legislation. طيب. Moving on, what is the status of the Hajj in our religion? Okay, what's the ruling? What's the status and the ruling of Hajj in our religion? طيب. So the Shaykh addresses it here by saying, وَمَنْزِلَتُهُ مِنَ الدِّينِ أَنَّهُ أَحَدُ أَرْكَانِ الْإِسْلَامِ And its status in the religion is that it is one of the pillars of Islam. وَهُوَ فَرِيضَةٌ بِإِجْمَاعِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And it is obligatory according to the consensus of the Muslims. Meaning there is no difference of opinion. All the Muslims they have agreed that Hajj is a pillar of the deen and it is obligatory upon every individual. 
بِالدُّرُورَ مِنَ الْإِسْلَامِ And its obligation is something that is known in Islam. وَلِهَذَا مَنْ أَنْكَرَ فَرْضِيَّتَهُ وَهُوَ مُسْلِمٌ عَائِشٌ بَيْنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَهُوَ كَافِرٌ And for this reason, whoever denies its obligation and he is a Muslim living between the Muslims, then he is a disbeliever. لِأَنَّهُ مُكَذِّبٌ لِلَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَإِجْمَاعِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Because he is belying Allah, his messenger, and the consensus of the Muslims. So we benefit from this passage that one, Hajj is a pillar of Islam. Two, that it is obligatory according to the consensus of the Muslims. And three, whoever denies the obligation of Hajj, then he is he is a kafir. طيب? The one who denies the obligation of Hajj and he lives amongst the Muslims, then he is a kafir because he belies Allah, his messenger, and the consensus of the Muslims. طيب, moving on. وَلَكِنْ مِنْ نِعْمَةِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ أَنَّهُ لَمْ يَفْرِدْهُ عَلَى الْعِبَادِ إِلَّا مَرَّةً وَاحِدَةً فِي الْعُمْرِ However, it's from the blessing of Allah that he did not legislate or obligate upon the slaves, the servants, to perform hajj except for one time in their lives. Okay, hajj is not obligatory upon the slaves except for once in their lifetime. وَذَلِكَ لِمَشَقَّةِ التَّكْرَارِ إِلَيْهِ كُلُّ عَامٍ مِنْ جِهَةٍ And the reason for that from one aspect is because the hard, hardness or difficulty of performing Hajj every year. Okay? It is very difficult for an individual to perform Hajj every year. And from that aspect, that's one of the reasons why Hajj is only obligatory once in a person's lifetime. And from another aspect, he says here, because of the space in Mecca, is that. There's not enough space to hold everyone. And if all of the Muslims were to gather in this one place, performing Hajj at the same time, then it would have been a tremendous difficulty upon the Ummah. طيب. So these are two reasons why the Shaykh mentioned. And there are many more, but these are just two reasons why the, um, Allah did not obligate ha- uh, Hajj upon His servants to be perform- to be performed in every year. But uh, let's stop there. As for the questions for the students, we're going to ask: uh, What is the meaning of Hajj linguistically? What is the meaning of Hajj in the legislation? What is the status of Hajj in Islam? And what is its ruling? Is it something that's recommended? Obligatory? Is it something mubah? Etc. And the last question we'll ask, what are two reasons why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not legislate Hajj to be performed every year? Subhanakallahumma ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaykum